Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an algebraic expression. We haven't done algebraic expressions for a while, so I thought it might be a good idea to do something like this. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're given that x plus y plus z is equal to zero, and we're supposed to simplify this expression, which is x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth, all over the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the second power. Okay, so we're expected to find a numerical value here, so let me just say that ahead of time. So we're not going to find the answer in terms of x, y, z. It's just going to be numerical. So the only thing we have at this point is x plus y plus z is equal to zero. Obviously, one can just replace x, y, z with numbers, you know, and then they can get an answer. But we're going to do this with some manipulations. That's the fun part. So let's get started. What am I going to do first? Well, since x plus y plus z is given, and I do need the sum of squares, let's go ahead and square this expression here. So I'll take x plus y plus z, since it's equal to 0, I'll square it, and its square is also going to equal 0, right? So let's go ahead and write it down. It's equal to x, plus, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. you got to remember this, or you need, you need to know this. It's an important identity. Plus 2 times the quantity xy plus xz plus yz. All right, so that's the formula for x plus y plus z quantity squared. Now, what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to set it equal to zero. Now, when this whole thing is equal to zero on the right hand side, obviously that allows me to isolate the sum of the squares, right? Which is this part. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate that. And when I do, I should be getting something like this, x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2 times that thing is equal to 0, so I can just go ahead and throw it on the other side with a negative 2 in front of it, right? So it looks like this. Alrighty. Now, this is one thing that I'll be using, obviously. But here's what's going to make it actually more fun. We're going to square this again. Now, why do we do so? Because it's fun. No, not just because of that. But there's a reason behind it, and the reason is we do need x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth. So for that reason, I think it makes sense if you square both sides, right? And uh, that way you can get the fourth power. So let's go ahead and square both sides here. And be careful when you're squaring. You're going to be using the same formula one more time, but this time each term is going to be x squared, y squared, z squared instead of the x, y, z. So when you square this expression, obviously, you're going to be getting something like x to the fourth, plus y to the fourth, plus z to the fourth, right? And then plus two times the two-way products, it's going to be x squared, y squared, x squared, z squared, and y squared, z squared. Now, this is what I get from the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, uh, I'll be getting something four times something, right? Because it's you're squaring a product, and when you square a product, you can basically f uh, square each factor. It's going to be four times this quantity squared. Let me go ahead and write it as something squared, and then I'll expand it. Okay, cool. So this is what I have so far. And notice that in this expression, we don't have x plus y plus z. So we could not just, you know, simplify this right away, right? So we got to do something about it before we can move forward. But here's what we're going to do. Let me tell you. We're going to expand what's on the right hand side. And then we're going to isolate the fourth power. And the miracle is going to happen. Okay, we're going to get something fun. Okay, now. Let me go ahead and take this, and my goal is to basically isolate the sum of the fourth powers. Let me go ahead and do that here. So I have x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth. And if I go ahead and subtract it from here, but let me go ahead and expand this. So when I expand it, it's going to be 4, 4 is outside, right? And inside, I should be getting something like x squared y squared plus x squared z squared plus y squared z squared. Now, how do you factor or how do you expand something like this? Again, with the same formula, think about a plus b plus c quantity squared. You should be getting something like two-way products, right? But when you do the two-way products, something interesting is going to happen because you're basically multiplying something like xy with xz. So that product is going to give you x squared yz. So you're getting a second power. Uh, and then the first powers. Make sense? Okay. So kind of like mix and match. So, and I want to keep the uh, two outside. So let me go ahead and, you know, just change this to a bracket here so that I can, you know, use my parentheses. 
right? Okay, so let me write it this way, and then it should look like this. Okay, great. Now, two times what? x squared yz, right? If I multiply x, y, and y, z, I should be getting something like y squared x, z, and then I should be getting z squared x, y, right? Everything will be squared once. Okay, then of course, this is going to be what I have, right? Now, this one is just the four parts. Now, now what I need to do next is I need to subtract this from both sides. So it's going to look like this, minus, minus, two times the quantity x squared y squared plus x squared z squared plus y squared z squared. Awesome. Now, what do we have? Well, I have four times this. So let me go ahead and mark that for you. Okay, I have four times this. And here I have two times the same thing. So what's that supposed to mean? Like it's kind of like four apples minus two apples. You get two pairs? No, two apples, right? Okay. So we get that. So let's go ahead and write it down. X to the fourth plus Y to the fourth plus Z to the fourth is equal to. Now I'm going to subtract like terms. So that's going to give me two times the quantity X squared Y squared plus X squared Z squared plus y squared z squared, because 4 minus 2 is equal to 2, right? And then, now notice that I'm multiplying 4 and 2 here because I'm going to use the distributive property. That's going to give me an 8. So plus, I should be getting 8 times something. But notice that these terms have a common factor. And isn't that x, y, z? So it's easy as, as easy as x, y, z. Was it a, b, c? Okay, whatever. doesn't matter. So I can take out an x, y, z here. And inside the parentheses, this is the coolest part of the problem is going to be x plus y plus c. Beautiful. Now, this is nice because we know that what? x plus y plus z is equal to zero, right? So what we can do is set this equal to zero. And of course, when you multiply that by the product, it's going to be zero. So this whole thing is going to disappear. Great. So are we done? Uh, not necessarily. We just need to, we still need to finish this problem. But we're almost there, right? So what are we going to do next? Well, well, now, we did get something like this. So x to the fourth, let's go ahead and write it down again, rewrite it. So we got x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth is equal to 2x squared y squared plus x squared z squared plus y squared and z squared. Now, and what do I have at the bottom? So this is my numerator. Remember, we're trying to evaluate the following. Let me re re rewrite it for you. Okay, I just couldn't say rewrite. x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth divided by x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and that'll be squared again, right? Okay, cool. Now, I got the top part. If I can get the bottom part as well, I'll be good to go. So how do you do the bottom part? Well. And remember, we had expanded this before. Let's do it one more time. But this time, we're going to replace it with something much nicer. So what is the bottom equal to? So this is what I'm trying to simplify. Let's focus on that one. And let me go ahead and simplify this for you. Now, I'm going to square this. When I square it, remember the formula, and we wrote it down, we get x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth, right? And then plus 2x squared y squared plus 2x squared z squared and 2y squared z squared. Okay, so sorry about that part. Uh, it's kind of messy, but hopefully you get the idea. Now, this is the bottom part, but notice that we have this identity here, right? So I can basically replace x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth with what? Two times the same quantity. So we basically get from here x squared plus y squared plus z squared quantity squared is equal to 2x squared y squared plus 2x squared z squared. And I believe I forgot to distribute the twos here, right? I, because I distributed it. Plus 2y squared z squared. And then the same thing again. So I might as well just take this and multiply by 2, right? Great. This is the greatest part. So this gives us 4x squared y squared plus 4x squared z squared plus 4y squared and z squared. So this is my, so x squared plus y squared plus z squared 
is equal to four times this. Now, what do I have? Well, I know this part, x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth, which is equal to this, right? So let me go ahead and write that down, all right? So now my expression becomes, let me rewrite my expression. So it's x to the fourth. Actually, we can just go ahead and how about we write the equivalent? So the top part is going to be x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth is going to be this one, right? Without the two. So it's going to be 2x squared y squared plus 2x squared z squared plus 2y squared z squared. Awesome. And the bottom and the bottom part is going to be, and of course, this needs to be squared, right? All right, cool. And the bottom part is just going to be the same expression with a 4. 4x squared y squared plus 4x squared z squared plus 4y squared z squared. Now, when you pull out a 2 here, right, you're going to get some expression. You're going to pull out a 4 here. You're going to get the same expression. And then they're going to cancel out, right, like this and like that. And your answer is going to be 2 divided by 4, which is equal to 1 half, right? And that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.